Welcome to Good Mythical More. Elevator pitch. Okay, uh, we just need a few seconds to pitch this movie idea. It's called Jort Jortson and the Race to the Sun. Okay, uh, picture a man and nothing but jorts. jorts. Let that sink in for a second. Now picture, okay. Yes, Good. now picture him in a spaceship. <laughs> Let that sink in yeah. on top of the jorts. And think about this for a second. The spaceship itself is jorts. And he's headed towards the sun, and when he gets there, he learns that the sun is actually, hold on a second. Jorts. <laughs> you like? Walk out with jazz hands. That's what. That's the way you seal the deal. If any time, this is actually a great trick to do when you're on an elevator. <laughs> As someone is like, <laughs> As it's closing and someone sees you, just last two or three seconds, just give them jazz hands, and it it will affect their day for a while. Is it, it's more like this than like I, what this is. What is this? That's this funny is, fingers. This is something different. That's like what the that's the cheerleader thing. Spirit fingers. Spirit fingers, jazz, jazz hands. hands, jazz hands, and spirit fingers. Yeah. Also, if somebody's trying to get on an elevator and it's very full. You should give them jazz hands as well. Okay, um, in 2002, Burger King. <laughs> Burger King, really? <laughs> my favorite restaurant. <clears throat> released a uh, Shack Pack, is what they called it, after Shaquille O'Neal, yes. who apparently um, was on board for this. He's on all the posters, at least his head was. Yep. And um, what was this thing? Uh, sourdough double cheeseburger with fries and free warm chili sauce that you could dip into. There's a commercial. Yeah, let's watch it. Who is a man that can jam over any man? A shark. Can you dig it? Who's your captain? Want sourdough, bacon, and all that? Shark. I'm talking about Shack Pack. We can dig it. The new Shack Pack. Grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger, crispy fries with free warm cheddar cheese dipping sauce and a Coca-Cola classic. You gotta have a Shack Pack, baby. Shack, <laughs> shack Pack? Man, shack can sell things, man. All right, Josh, come on in here and man, hang out with us. Things. We have the Shack Pack um, that Mythical Chef Josh has meticulously recreated. It's very interesting to me that they, they market it as free chili cheese sauce. Yeah, you don't have to pay for, for it. For dipping. Free. Yeah, you're, you're buying the thing with the stuff in it. That's not really free. Hold on, you, you've you been on the internet long enough to know why they say that it's free. It's not to make it sound great. It's because people are like, is the sauce free? People like to ask dumb questions and so you have to, you oh. have to preempt them. The sauce is free, quit asking. Do I have to pay extra for the sauce? I really like it, do I have to pay extra for it? That became a really bad Will Ferrell <laughs> Harry Carey. You're saying that they put that in the commercial so so as to yes. save the conversation at the counter? 95% no, of it's a, it's all a marketing business, ploy, man. 95% of all business decisions are designed to eliminate stupid questions. Except in commercials, when it's more about just buy the thing. Hey, I'm here, is the sauce free? All right, let's try the free sauce first. That's what this is it's, really about, right? It really is. This this came out when I was 10 years old, and I think the Samuel L. Jackson Shaft movie came out about the same time, so like Shaft was on the brain mm. for people, oh. and no commercial has hit me as hard as that Shack Pack commercial did when I was 10 years old. Yeah, you were in that very malleable state. Mm -hmm. I was like, free things sauce. stick in your brain. Crazy. Oh, uh, so the free sauce got you. Free sauce got me. That is a good sauce. And it, it was a decent movie, I, I, I saw that yeah. movie. How can this be free? I mean, it's so good. It was inappropriate Are you sure for the a sauce is free? me to see it, but I saw it. Can we get confirmation that the sauce is free? Yeah, I mean, it came out of like the budget. Like we bought. Come on, man. We didn't. We didn't. They stopped doing free sauce. Take the tomato out of your piece. I am. There's two tomatoes. Okay. So I left that tomato there for you. Um. So again, what is this? It's just sourdough, which they they're doing sourdough sandwiches now. They just brought it back, but they hadn't for a long time. But they didn't bring the shack pack back. They did not bring the shack pack back. They're so and close. Changed their sourdough. It looks more like rustic and artisanal now, and I don't uh, like it. I miss artisanal, the, like, artisanal, artisanal. I miss the non-artisanal one. Yeah. And lots of bacon. Is there barbecue sauce? I, can't, I, I don't remember saying that. No. It's one of those vague pink sauces. 
Which oh. are the best sauces on burgers? Do we have a knife to yeah. cut that up? We should. David, uh, throw me a knife. The most impressive thing about that commercial was Shaq playing basketball in a leather trench coat. He's a heavy man. I, I mean, mean, there's a lot of a lot of impressive. moisture to be made on that body. You know. <laughs> Who is the burger that's going into my mouth? Shock pack. And then, I mean, he wants some. You should eat some. Well, I don't know. I'm used to the fancy fast food treatment where I give you oh, this stuff is, and then I this just is watch. Good mythical morse. Totally this is just fast man. food. You can eat all you want, Josh. Thank you. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I, th that I think that's mine because there's no tomato. No, okay. there's tomato. I got tomato on it. Did you have tomato got, on it? Mine got a whole tomato. How many tomatoes are on there? I made it. And I don't know. Two tomatoes. If only oh, Shaq yeah. were here. Man. Shaq doesn't attach himself to stuff that isn't awesome. Think about Shaz Kazam, that mm -hmm. movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, he doesn't get involved with things that are not gonna work. That's one thing I've learned about Shaq. This is the best taste that I've had in seven weeks. <laughs> Well, that sauce is the same sauce that's on a BK double. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What's it called? The BK King or something? It's kind of like the Big Mac, but it's... The bacon is good, too. There's, I like there's the King double and then the, the BK double. I think it's, this is the King double that you're King, talking King about. King double. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like the King yeah. double. This is really good, though. This is this, this is, is a lot better this than is very good. all if, the other things. If Shaq's involved, it should come back. You can't bring it back without Shaq, of course. Um, so that may be holding them up, but um, I'm saying we definitely bring this one back. You guys agree? Oh, yeah. And um, I don't even care if you start charging for the sauce, honestly. <laughs> could you get them to make that? If you just told them all the things that were on it? You could get them to make that exact burger, but you could not get them to give you free cheese sauce. Or I don't even think you could pay for cheese sauce anymore. Mm -hmm. This was like specifically made by Kraft just for the Shack pack. Shack must have like intimidated the Kraft executives until they made him a cheese sauce just for his pack. I want it to be a special sauce, but I want it to be free. Yeah. Now, uh, um, I'm curious, what do you think about our opinions on what we said to not bring back, and bring back? So, the Yumbo Hot Ham and Cheese, yeah. you were dead on if it ever existed, because I'm still not convinced, but that is absolutely an Arby's sandwich, and Arby's added right. their Market Fresh thing, and they stopped just slinging the roast beef, okay. you know, switched to ham. But it's not as good. As Arby's. No, it's not. And that's right. not their core competency. They shouldn't be doing that mm -hmm. sandwich. What do you think about the pizza um, I think double? if they added pepperoni to it, I think it would have been great. I think oh, it needs wow. a spiced cured pork product. I had to resist the urge to throw my own pepperoni in there that's all the really, time. That is a good point. It would be better. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't kind of sell it. Right now it just tastes like an unseasoned sausage sandwich. I would like you a... You know what I mean? Yep. And I would like a free side of marinara. Marinara mm. for dipping. And I don't I, think I they don't can want, do free marinara. Mm. I want the marinara to be free and I want it to say so in the commercial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And I like... You mentioned the chicken parmesan sandwich, which I was a fan of. That's my wife's favorite sandwich. Yeah. It's really great. But the problem is... Oh, the love so much. <laughs> I think on Earth, yeah. <laughs> she has good like, taste. There were times when that's all she talked to me about. Just late night conversations about that sandwich. And nothing else. Hmm. How was your day, honey? Have you heard about the the, the chicken parm sandwich? You know what might yes, be good? Yes, talk, we talk about it all the time. The pizza burger dipped into the cheese. Queso? You're, you're mixing countries. Yeah, just crossed the border. Across the border into... You just overlapped Italy into Wisconsin. Mexico. Wisconsin. Oh, and Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. um, I can't tell if the Whopperito didn't go far enough or went too far. You know, because McDonald's, right? They just, in the Mac Snack Wrap, they called it a wrap. And you know what they did to the burger? They just cut it in half. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't crumbled, yeah. or like some mm -hmm. toddler's attempt at crumbling you felt a burger. Like you, you, it gives the effect of feeling like you're getting leftovers. Yeah. Because you're like, this was made for something else, and you cut it. Yeah, but it cost a dollar twenty nine though. That's the thing. The Max it, Snack Wrap was cheap. This was like yeah. a four dollar substantial burrito. So I think they didn't go far enough with the queso to turn it into a burrito. It stripped up the burger patties. I would have liked it better with the sliced cheese melted in. Yeah. Or you do that for a dollar forty nine half a Whopper patty, call it a wrap. But this is in a weird middle ground that I hate and I'm mad about it. Yeah, I'm wow. pretty. Uh, I'm pretty upset. Right. Did you have it when it was out? Yeah, I did. You, you try similar. all the new fast food items. Is that like a compulsively? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to. And this cheese log of macaroni. <laughs> I mean, I I know it's decadent, 
And I don't think it can, it, it's, it can be one of those limited time things. Mm. Yeah, don't but make it a daily part of They your, should keep bringing it back though. I mean, your routine. what I didn't mention is, there was a time when you could buy these in Sheets, gas stations, and in Walmart. But those don't exist anymore either. I think they Chester- They Cheeto che brand? Yeah, um, Kraft and, and Chester Cheetah. Are, are, are they both craft, or is there some sort of like melding that had to happen? And then, oh, let's know. do let's They're do Lay's. She does a Frito Lay. It's all owned by it's all owned by one company in the mm. area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Illuminati. Right. Let's dip this Jay -Z into Beyonce. that. I think that's smart. I'll do that. I act like I didn't do that when I was making these earlier today <laughs> in the kitchen. Oh wow. Well. Oh, you went from curtailing the decadence to double downing. <laughs> double de downing double. Doubling down? Cheese on cheese on cheese, man. Just double down. Six stickers, bruh. Where'd you get them? Mythical dot store, bruh. So sick, bruh. Totally, bruh. I just put them all over my board, bruh. So sick, bruh. Yeah.